Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us see the concept of peer-to-peer -peer application in SQL Server. So for this, let us go to SSMS. Now we have got three instances of SQL Server, that is SQL uh, Server 1 2014, Server 2 2014 and Server 3 2014. So all these three instances will act as independent nodes in the peer-to-peer -peer application. Now, in peer-to-peer -peer application, each node will have its own distribution database. Okay, so all three of these instances will have their own distribution database instances. Also, all these three nodes will act, that is all these three instances will act as subscribers to the other nodes. Okay, so hence there will be uh, three distribution databases, there will be three subscribers all these three in, in, in all these three nodes that is all these three instances will publish their own database that is they we will have three publish publication databases and lastly as each node subscribes to two other nodes in all there will be six subscriptions okay so so, so first node will subscribe to second and third similarly second node will subscribe to first and third and the third node will subscribe to first and second Hence, there will be six subscriptions, okay? So, in the peer-to-peer -peer application, there will be three publication databases, there will be three distribution databases, there will be three subscribers, and there will be six subscriptions, okay? So, now, let us see how to configure the peer-to-peer -peer application. So, for this, let us go uh, and decide the database for which we want to configure the peer-to-peer -peer application. So, DBN Escotase is the database that we want to configure for peer-to-peer -peer application. So let us go and take the backup, okay, of this database. Let us take a full backup, okay, fine. And DSQL backup is the folder where this backup will be taken. So let us go to the folder, okay, it's DSQL backup, okay, it is blank, fine. So let us take the backup. Okay, so the backup has been taken. So this file has been created. Okay, now let us go to the other two databases. Okay, those are instance two. There is, there is no database and instance three also there is no database. So let us restore this database at both the instances. So restore database from the device, select add the backup double click okay files relocate okay okay so the backup has been restored i'm oh, sorry here so the backup has been restored similarly restore the backup over here device Okay, so we are restoring the backup on the third instance. Okay, so the backup has been restored. So on the third instance also, now this database is available. Okay, now let us configure replication distribution database on all the three instances. So we have configured the distribution database on the first instance. We can see the distribution database now. So let us similarly go to the second instance, configure distribution database. Okay, so the distribution database has been configured on the second instance as well. Now similarly, let us go to the third instance and configure the distribution database. Okay, so on the third instance as well, the distribution database has been configured. So now we are ready to set up the peer-to-peer -peer replication. So for this, first of all, we need to go to the first instance 
and create a new publication. As we uh, we have decided that db underscore test will be the database for which we want to create peer to peer publication, we will select db underscore test as the database. Now, as we want to uh, create peer to peer replication in this particular e example, so we will select the publication type to be peer to peer publication. Next, and we will ask all tables so we will have all tables as the articles for the publication now it is important to note that only the tables which have got primary key will be able to participate in the peer to peer replication okay just like transactional replication so those tables which do not have primary key defined they will not be uh, forming part of peer to peer replication okay so those will not be included in the articles for peer to peer replication if you want to further modify any of the attributes of these articles, you can go over here and modify as per your requirements. Next, agent security. Although it is not a recommended best practice to use SQL Server agent service account, but for the purpose of this demo, for the purpose of this in, in, uh, example, we will use the SQL Server agent security account. Let us name this as db underscore test underscore p2p peer to peer pub publication. Okay. Okay. So now the peer to peer publication is available on the first instance, but there are no subscriptions. So let us right click and let us click over here configure peer to peer topology. Let us click over here. Okay. So this is the publication for which you want to configure the topology. Click next. Okay. Good. So it will show you a diagram. Okay. On which the first instance that is server 1 2014 is already selected and the database connection for the first instance is already available. Note the peer originator ID. It is 100. Okay. The second last column peer originator ID is 100 okay okay now we want to add other peers in this topology right so let us right click add a new peer connection it will show you one arrow so again right click and say add peer node now add server 2 as the peer node next for the first instance the peer originator id was 100 so let us give 200 as the peer originator id for the second instance and the database that we want to, part uh, to participate in peer-to-peer -peer topology is db underscore test. Okay. Oh, fine. Okay. Okay. The second is available. Right. Similarly, go and click add new connect peer-to-peer -peer connection. Right click and say add new peer node. And similarly add the third instance. Select the database and give the peer originator ID a different one. In this case, we will give 300. Click OK. So now all three instances are available. Fine. This is server 2 2014 and this is server 3 2014. So the only task remaining is to connect. So just select this one, connect to all displayed nodes. Similarly, go and select the second instance and say connect to all displayed nodes. Similarly, go to third and say or connect to all displayed nodes. So now connections are available between all the nodes, right? Okay, so now click next. Now provide security. Okay, for the log reader agent. Okay, so although it is not a security based practice, okay, to use SQL Server service agent account, but for the purpose of this example, we will use SQL Server agent security account. Okay, similarly, for the second server also, we will use SQL Server agent security account. Okay. So now the current security has been configured for the log reader agent. Let us go and similarly configure the distribution agent service uh, security for the distribution distribution agent. Okay. So let us go and click over here. And although it is not a recommended security based practice, just for the purpose of this demo and example, we will use SQL Server agent security account for all the three instances.
ओके नाउ आई हैव क्रिएटेड द पी आर डेटाबेस मैन्युअली ओके और द रिस्टोर द बैकअप ऑफ द ओरिजिनल पब्लिकेशन डेटाबेस विच हैज नॉट बीन चेंज सिंस द बैकअप वॉज टेक सो नाउ एज आई हैव टेकन द बैकअप एंड रिस्टोर द बैकअप एंड देर आर नो मोर डेटा चेंजेस आफ्टर द बैकअप वॉज टेकन आई कैन गो अड सेफली विद द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन फिनिश सो नाउ द होल पीयर टू पीयर रेप्लीकेशन सेटअप इज बींग कन्फ्यूगर्ड वी कैन सी वॉट इज हैपनिंग राइट द फर्स्ट पब्लिकेशन वी हेड क्रिएटेड ऑन अवर ओन ऑन द फर्स्ट इंस्टेंस सिमिलरली द पब्लिकेशन ऑन द सेकेंड इंस्टेंस एंड द पब्लिकेशन ऑन द थर्ड इंस्टेंस हैव बीन क्रिएटेड नाउ इट इज गोइंग टू क्रिएट सिक्स सब्सक्रिप्शन स्टार्टिंग विद दिस सो फॉर सर्वर टू देर आर फॉर सर्वर वन देर आर टू सब्सक्रिप्शंस फॉर सर्वर टू देर आर टू सब्सक्रिप्शंस एंड फॉर सर्वर थ्री देर आर टू सब्सक्रिप्शंस सो इन ऑल देर आर सिक्स सब्सक्रिप्शंस दैट आर गेटिंग क्रिएटेड ओके सो अवर पीयर टू पीयर रेप्लीकेशन सेटअप इज कम्प्लीट एंड वी कैन सी दैट फॉर द फर्स्ट पब्लिकेशन सर्वर टू एंड थ्री आर द सब्सक्राइबर्स सिमिलरली फॉर द सेकेंड पब्लिकेशन दैट इज ए पब्लिकेशन ऑन द सेकेंड इंस्टेंस सर्वर वन एंड सर्वर थ्री आर द सब्सक्राइबर्स एंड सिमिलरली फॉर द पब्लिकेशन ऑन द थर्ड इंस्टेंस सर्वर वन एंड टू आर द सब्सक्राइबर्स सो द होल सेटअप फॉर peer to peer uh, replication is complete now let us do some testing let us go to the first instance okay let us go to the dbnsco test database let us go to tables let us go and open the table 1 in the edit mode okay similarly let us go to the second instance dbnsco test database tables right click and open table 1 in the edit mode okay and do the same thing for the third instance okay so we go to tables go to table 1 right click and open the table in the edit mode okay so we have basically server 1 then server 2 and server 3 okay this is server 1 fine this is server 2 and this is server 3 so all have got the same data that is record number 1 to 10 right for server 2 as well as for server 3 so now let us do some changes let us delete record number 10 from server 1 okay and let us go and see if this change is reflected in server 2 or not and we can see on server 2 also that change is reflected and on server 3 also the change is reflected okay now let us go to server 2 and let us delete record number 8 and 9 okay yes so now let us go to server 1 and the change has been reflected similarly let us go to server 3 and the change has been reflected and similarly on server 3 let us go and delete record number 6 and 7 and let us go to server 1 and we can see now that the change is reflected similarly for server 2 we can see that the change is reflected so whatever data changes we do in, on any of the servers it is getting reflected on the other two servers right similarly let us go to server 1 add record number 6 and 7 and we should be able to see the change on the other two servers so on server 2 the records are now are now available on server 3 also the records are now available let us go to server 2 add record number 8 and on server 1 that change will be reflected record number 8 is available and record 8 is available on the third server as well and last thing on server 3 let us go and add record number 9 and 10 okay so on server number 1 records will be available in few minutes time is available and on rec on server 2 also the records are available so we can see that for all the delete operations the 
data changes were getting reflected on the other servers as well as for all the insert operations the data changes are getting reflected on the other servers so in this way in this way we have tested the peer to peer application and it is working absolutely perfectly now let us just go and see some things uh, behind the screen okay so lo launch the application monitor see now this is this is important okay so we can see that if we launch more application monitor for publications that is for publishers we can see all three servers as the publishers okay fine if you go to the first server then we can see that its subscribers are server 2 and 3 for if you go to the second publication we can see that its subscribers are server 1 and 3 and if you go to the third instance we can see that its subscribers are server 1 and 2 okay so hence all the uh, servers have other two servers as their subscribers okay and if you go to any of these servers and then we can go to the detail part for publish from public publisher to distributor what is happening and between distributor to subscriber what is happening we can find out okay fine also for the publication part uh, if we, let's go to the second instance right we, if we can also go and see the status of the agents right okay so what is the log reader agent doing okay how, how it is running whether it is having any problem error or not that all information we can find find out with the help of replication monitor so the only thing the major thing which is different in peer-to-peer -peer replication with respect to uh, replication monitor is that instead of showing only one server over here it will show all three as publications and for each publication uh, server it will show the two servers as its subscribers and we can then find out the status of all the agents and all the jobs okay which are transferring data from publisher to distributor and from distributor to the other subscribers so all that in data information can be obtained from replication monitor so i hope friends this video tutorial on peer-to-peer -peer replication is useful to you thank you